The first concept with clicker training, and let's talk about it a little about, bit about the click, is the clicker, the click, marks the correct behavior that you're looking for. And the click also, in the whole concept of things, ends the behavior that you're looking for. And the treat is the reward after. So they're working for the click to get the food. So think about that concept as we go into this. We're gonna talk about offering behaviors, and that is I'm not telling the dog to do the sit and the down and the stay and the come and heal. I am showing the dog all of those behaviors. So this is offering behaviors clicker style. The dog is sitting, I'm gonna click and treat. You want them to move. It's part of the clicker philosophy. And they move for the food. And I'll show you why and what that means as we get going. But just understand, click marks the correct behavior. Food comes after. Let's get into down. My hand is going to go to the ground. When he lays down, it's going to be the click. And then I'm going to have him move and get the food. But I'm using the food to lure him into this position. Hand from the nose to the ground. He lays down. I click. Then I give the food when he stands up. Very nice. I'm going to do that three times. Hand at the nose, hand to the ground, he lays down, I click, I feed. Hand to the nose, to the ground, I click, treat here. Now I'm going to stay standing, wait for him to lie down, click, and then food. I have the food, it's at his nose. I'm going to wait for him to lie down. He doesn't know any of this, that's a good dog. Good boy, very good, good. All right, now we're just working on his laying down with me standing up um, with the clicker. So I'm holding my leash and my clicker and in this hand, I want him to see that I have the food. That's a good dog. Good boy, we've already put our hand to the ground and working on all that, so we're just good. We're just waiting for him to offer the down. Good boy, that's very good. Very good, that's good. Good, that was almost. Good dog. Good boy, almost. You got it, you're thinking. That's good. Good. That's very good. You can do it. Click. He moves for the food. We're going to do that three times. Good. Very good. Nice. Good. I know. You've got it. You can do it. Good dog. It's good. Good. Good boy. That's very good. You can do it. Good. Hey, hey. Good. 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 You can do it. Yeah, you can. I know, it's hard. Good. Good. So I'm just going to bend down and help him out. Good. 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 Nope. Nope. Good. Good. Yeah, you can do it. Good boy. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Good. Very good. Good boy. Good. Good. You can do it. Good. <coughs> I'm going to go down and help him be successful again. Food happens here. <clears throat> he goes down. The click happens. And food happens. 
Good. That's good. Good boy. You can do it. Good. Good. That's good. 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 Good boy. It's good. Good. That's good. 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 Hey. Good. That's very good. Good. Hey. Good. That's nice. Good boy. Good. 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 Very nice. Good. Hey, right here. Good. That's good. Good. Hey. Good. 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 Good boy. Good. Very nice. That's good. Nope. Nope. I don't want to shake. Nope. Good. 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 Nice. You can do it. You can do it. Nice. Good. Nice. That's good. Hey, hey. Sure. Good. Good. Very good. Thank you. That is your little training session with your clicker training as it relates to offering behaviors of sit and down. As we go through this series, we're gonna build on everything and then also learn how to phase off your clicker. There's some steps that you'll find if you've ever gone through any other kind of clicker training that I don't do it in the same order and I don't, um, I don't pair things in the same order and do things exactly the same. So, and that's why we call it clicker, uh, click your way through dog training 360 because it's just, it's completely different than a lot of other clicker trainers and it helps you progress off the clicker, not stay on the clicker. So let's get into some next steps. Now that we've introduced some behaviors as it relates to the clicker, and um, the next thing that we wanna do, this next step is just pairing the click to the food. And a lot of times you'll see in a lot of other clicker series where we we pair, that's the first thing that we do is we click food, click food, click food. And what I have found that happens in that scenario is the, it's hard to get the offering behaviors in a way that the dog is thinking through the process that we're not um, molding and shaping with food and luring them into those positions to get the click. So this way I've kind of introduced it in a backwards kind of way so that he is really working for the click. So um, now I'm going to pair the click to the food so he's understanding a little bit more so we can get into some building duration with clicker training. So I'm, I am not going to worry about the position that he's in. I'm just going to click 
food. And I like to just have a handful of food and that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to do a whole bag of food. I'm just going to click and treat with a handful of food. That's very good. Very nice. That's it. That's that little stage. That's all we're going to do is just that. I'm just pairing it to it and I may end a training session there or I may continue on from there. But I'm going to do offering behaviors with the click treat and then I'm going to pair my clicker um, to the food and now we're going to get into some, some words and some major obedient stuff. All right, we've uh, done some offering behaviors with clicker. We've paired our clicker to food, so our dog knows that we're this click thing means something good, and he knows what behaviors make me happy, and he's heard the click as it relates to it. So now I'm going to pair the word to um, now I'm going to pair the word to the behavior, and when I say the word, he does the behavior click treat sit. Treat. <laughs> Sit. You got it. Sit. Click. Treat. Sit. Click. Treat. Nice. Very good. I like it. Sit. Click. Treat. Let's get into down. This one's been a tough one for you. You ready? Nike. Nike. Down. You can do it. Nike. Hey, hey. Hey. Down. Click treat. Down. He always has to think about this. Nice. Down. Good sit. Down. Thanks. One more time for good measure. Down. Hey, hey. Down. I like to add in my stay into this little series because we can start building duration and we're asking for it. So we're going to start with the sit, stay. Sit, stay, click treat. Good. Building duration here. Nike, sit, good, stay. Sit, stay. Sit, stay. No. That is a good stay. No. Good. Nice down. Sit. Stay. We're just building duration into them staying, and that's why I'm moving and moving around and building that duration. Nike. Sit. Stay. Freebie. Hi. Sit. Good. Stay. Good. 
Good. Sit. Hi. Sit. That's a nice down. Sit. Nice down. Sit. Stay. And now let's move into our down stay. Down. Good sit. Down. Nike. Down. Stay. Down. Nice. Stay. No. Down. Hey, a lot of some distractions going on. Down. Good. Stay. Good guy. Down. Hey. Down. Hurry. Nike down. Good, stay. No. Down. Down. Good. Stay. Good job. You'll build on this and take longer and longer to click. You'll also start adding more distance before you click. So you're adding distance and duration to your stay and you're going to build on this. This process can take quite a while depending upon your dog. And so don't, this isn't a rushed process. This is a building block and the foundation to clicker training and getting into building longer and longer and longer duration before you click for him to come to you for food. So your sit and your down and your stay is a great training scenario uh, to do all together because you can work it all in and get the same results. One of the next things that we wanna teach, we've gone through offering behaviors, we've gone th through pairing our treats and the clicker together and we've gone through our sit and our down commands with a stay command. And the next thing that I want to do is work on come. And with clicker training, it's kind of an organic thing. And it can be very structured as well. So I'm going to show you two different styles of working on come. The first thing that I want to do is pair his name to the click to the come um, so that we can say, Nike, come. And um, I'll show you what that looks like. And a lot of times you start in a controlled situation and then you slowly move into more distracting things like we may go from here to uh, the backyard or here to the front yard and, and then maybe here to a quiet park. And then from the quiet park, we'll move into something a little bit more distracting and more dogs passing by and all of that. So this is, again, just the foundation of clicker training. And the rest is up to you to understand the foundation and progress into more distracting things and a more duration for your stays. So just think about this as a foundation and build on it from here. But in this course, I am going to teach you how to phase off the clicker and off the food so that you can continue this without having to have a clicker and food for the rest of their life through training. So we're going to now talk about 
talk to Nike actually and teach him that his name means he needs to connect into me. So I'm just going to say his name and when he looks at me, I'm going to click tree. Nike. Very nice. I'm going to click and treat just because he's giving me eye contact and connection. I really like connection and I like eye contact and I like to mark those behaviors because it's one of my favorite things. Nike. Good. Nike. Good. Nice. Sit. Stay. Nike. Good. Sit. Stay. I'm now going to add in my come command. Come. I click when the dog gets to me because it ends the behavior. I'm not clicking when I call because that doesn't end the behavior out there. This ends the behavior here. It's a lot of concepts and, and things to think about in clicker training. Click ends the behavior. And if I click there, when I say come, then he can go do whatever he wants to do in, in the philosophy of clicker training. So I want to end the behavior here, not there. And that's why I'm not clicking until he comes to me. Nike. Go ahead. Sit. Sit. Nike, sit. Or down. It's all right. Stay. Nike, come. Good dog. That's a good guy. Yay. Sit. <laughs> Sit. Thank you. Stay. Nike, come. Good. Sit. Hi. Thank you. Stay. Nope. Thank you. I'm just going to click treat for that because that was a good little correction he made. I'm going to just appreciate it because we're in the training zone. Sit. Hi. Hurry, sit. Nice, thanks. Sit. Stay. Nike, come. Let's build on this a little bit just because we're having a good time. Down. Hey, hey. Down. Thank you. Stay. Nike, come. Sit. So I'm just building out my little finish here with with the recall in a formal setting. I'm not gonna do that a whole lot because I wanna get that come a little bit better. Hey. But I just wanted to show you kind of how you can play around with it and how click ends the behavior or click ends the chain that we're working on. And, and so if I clicked for everything, then we're done there, done there, done there, and I have to start all over. So I'm creating a chain. I'm creating fluency in, in how I want this whole picture of come to look like. So play with it. But remember that the click ends behavior, and that's why I'm not doing it until the very end, okay? Sit, stay. Nike, come. Good, 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 good. There. Sit, down, stay, and come. All with the clicker, all in a controlled situation and controlled environment. And 
I have to build on it. So remember, this is a beginning course to clicker. And you can have fun with it. You can appreciate it. You can smile through it. You can let them question you. Let them think about it and, and have fun with it. And don't get frustrated and don't get irritated. Uh, slow down. Be patient with them so that you can help them be successful. And let's get into some loose leash walking. We're going to start with getting our dogs into position of a loose leash walking. You can kind of see the whole time that I've been handling Nike. I haven't been really putting a lot of pressure on the leash and, and all of that. I've, I've kept it really loose. I've got to keep them contained. I want them to work with me, but I'm not using the leash to get the behaviors. And I'm not going to use the leash to get the behavior with loose leash walking either. So I've got to switch hands because I want Nike to be on my left side. And so my clicker goes in the right, my leash goes to the right, and I'm going to give him the heel and I'm going to show him where he needs to be. So I'm going to lure him into position and then I'm going to click when he gets into position. So remember, click ends the behavior. So I'm going to give him the word first, Nike heel. And he's there. I don't care if he's sitting right now. Okay. Good. Heel. Hi. Freebie. Thanks. Heel. I don't like that he's getting kind of stuck back here. So I'm going to take a few more steps back and help him get there. Nike. Heel. There, that's where I like it. Nice, ready? Heel. Good. Nice, and you can see he's gradually stopped, you know, he's not coming around front so much. Heel. Heel. Just like in the stay, I'm now going to build on this. So you can see what it looks like by um, movement. Heel. Click ends the behavior. Heel. Heel. One more time. Heel. Good. Now let's see if I can shorten up my steps a little bit um, and get him into position. Heel. Very good. Heel. Good. You'll build on distance and the duration through your heel, getting them onto, into your side and getting them moving forward. That's the foundation of teaching your dog what heel means with the clicker.